Hi, it's Hopkey, and welcome to this screencast looking at the skin configuration button. So introduced in Pano 2 VR version 6, here is the button. You'll see it's greyed out for the minute because this particular skin doesn't have any options. If I select the Silhouette um, V6 skin, you'll see that the button becomes active. And when I click it, you'll see that there's lots of things that we can change within this skin. Now, the idea of this is you can build skins that once built, um, once you've configured the skin initially, you don't have to keep opening up the skin editor. You can just quickly open up the configuration button and, and then start configuring the skin. So as an example, if I publish out this, you'll see that we've got our silhouette skin, but there's no information button there. So what I want to do is add one. So if I click the um, configuration button, I can select show information button in controller, click OK, publish out, and lo and behold, there is now an information button that opens up the user data box. There we go, so that's quite cool. So that's what it does. Now for this to work, your skin has to be built in a particular way. So let's go back to this skin. I'm gonna publish this out, and you'll see what this skin does. It's got two thumbnails, and when you hover over them, you'll see that the thumbnails have tool tips. Now it may be that I'm gonna use this skin for other projects, but I may not wanna see the tool tips in certain projects or some customers might say I don't want to see that so what I want to do is add the options to this skin to hide and show the tooltip so how we do that right well first and foremost we need to understand how the tooltip works so here it is in the thumbnail menu and how it works is it has a logic block so that the um, that the initial value of the alpha is zero so it's hidden but when you mouse over the parent equals true, the alpha turns to one and we see the tooltip. Okay, so now to make it configurable, what I need to do is add a variable to the skin. Let's just make the panel a bit wider. And I'm gonna call the variable, uh, let's call it thumb, thumb underscore tool tip. So that's the name of the variable. Um, I'm gonna give it a type of true false because I'm gonna see it or I'm not gonna see it, so true or false. I'll leave the initial value to true, and the description has to be fairly descriptive of what this is going to do. So I'm going to call it show thumb tool tip. So that's exactly what it's going to do. Now, before this can be seen in the configuration menu, or the skin configuration menu, we need to click expose. In other words, we're going to expose this variable. That's the technical name for it. But basically what that's going to do is now put show thumbnail tooltip in the, or it's now going to appear under the edit skin configuration button. And obviously that's now going to make that button active for this particular skin. Okay, so that's the variable. So how is this variable going to affect the tooltip? Well, as we said before, the, um, the logic block for this is mouse over parent equals true, so we show the, the tooltip. So now what I'm going to do is set the variable um, mouse over parent equals true and thumbnail tooltip equals tr is true. We will then see the tooltip. So of course I've exposed the variable now. So if we save and um, close the skin, you'll see that the button's now active. So I now have the option for the variable to be true when it's selected. And false when it's when it's deselected so when I deselect it it's now false but the condition is you need to mouse over it and that has to be true before we can see it so therefore no tooltip all right if I go back to the skin configuration select that so now the variable is true and publish out you'll see that when I now 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 that variable is true and I mouse over the parent is true we now see the tooltip show Cool, so that's all working. That's how to use the edit skin configuration button and how to configure a skin uh, to use it. Um, one last thing, and that's in the V6 or uh, Pano 2 VR version 6, we've also added some um, configuration um, capabilities to some of the components. So check out the components tool to, uh, the um, toolbox on the components that can be configured. There you go, that's how to use the edit skin configuration button. Um, that's how to obviously um, set your skins to work with it. And as always, thanks for watching.